New at 11:30, data from the Department of Health and Human Services says black people are more likely to die of heart disease than white people. However, the number of black cardiologists, especially women, is dangerously low. Dr. Natalie Azar tells us what's being done to get those numbers up. How are you doing? Good. Dr. Mary Branch has spent a decade learning one of the most challenging specialties in medicine hours in the hospital and clinic to become a cardiologist. And she's in a rare group, female black cardiologists. Cardiology is not only challenging from a learning perspective, it's just physically very, very hard. And you're dealing with life and death scenarios on a consistent basis. The specialty can be hard for anyone, but for Branch, it goes past just medicine. She wants to be there for her community. A recent study shows that just 3% of all cardiologists in the U.S. are African-American. It's pretty abysmal. When I talk about the numbers of hypertension, obesity, the importance of establishing relationships, how many people we need to make those changes, that's scary. When patients see someone that looks like them, there is often an established trust and connection. We share a culture with these folks. They don't have to explain a lot of things about their culture, where they come from. African Americans are 30 percent more likely to die from heart disease than white Americans. Nikita Oxner knows this firsthand. Her brother died from heart disease caused by high blood pressure. And she's seen Dr. Branch for more than a year, once she learned of her heart murmur through a sleep study. Talking to a black cardiologist just kind of calmed my fears, because I'm talking to someone who knows about the health issues within my community, right, who's very experienced and also very calming. Oxner had a small battery-powered device called an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD, placed into her chest. Before the operation, she was afraid, but trusted her doctor. When it came to getting this ICD, um, she called it a little hospital or little emergency room in your chest. Now with the ICD in place, she's getting back to how life was before. She's guided me through this entire process, and now I'm on the other side of it. Now. Medical groups say the next step is to see more stories like Nikita's. Is the American College of Cardiology starting any initiatives to address this? We actually have a program called the Young Scholars Program. The program starts in high school, spanning through college to help recruit more black students and minorities into cardiology. It gives them a very nice sort of supportive feeling that uh, there are resources out there to kind of make it to the, the next step. Becoming a cardiologist like Dr. Branch. It was something that was implanted in my heart. Every day you have impacted somebody's life and extended their life in some way. That is just profound. Dr. Natalie Azar, NBC News.